How to Transition a Height of Zero to a Height of Auto In this video, I will show you a workaround to achieve this using CSS. Here on my document are some texts to use in this demo. What we are going to do is to create a text question which when we hover over it, will show the rest of the texts or, let's simply call it the answer. To start, let's create a dev with a class of FAQ. This will hold each question and answer group of texts. Inside, create an H2 element with a class of question. Let's copy the question here. Then below this element, add a dev with a class of answer. This will hold the answer text. I will copy and paste and update it for the second FAQ group. Now, for our CSS, let's start by updating the H2 margin. Set the FAQ element cursor to pointer. For the dev answer element, add a max height of 0. Set overflow to hidden to hide the content. Let's also add a background color. Next, let's add a style for when the user hovers over the FAQ element. And update the maximum height of the answer element to 300 pixels or higher. Add padding. Add an overflow auto so you can scroll down and see it fully if you have longer content. Finally, let's add a transition to the base answer element. The transition property is applied to the max height property, which specifies the maximum height of an element. The transition duration is 0.1 seconds, and the timing function is ease out meaning the transition will start slowly and then speed up as it progresses. Let's also add a transition for the hover element. The transition duration is 0.3 seconds, and the timing function is ease in, meaning the transition will start quickly and then slow down as it progresses. Let's add more transition using the opacity property. Set the opacity to 0 and opacity to 1 on the hover element. Update the transition to both elements accordingly. Thank you for watching.